Hi guys, this is Sadek from Dotnet.com and in this video, we'll show you how to transfer files from the internal storage to the root directory on your Android phone without taking the help of root. So I had made a video on this topic and at that point in time, I had shown you how to get this job done using root. Now, if you are planning to take the help of root, then there exists two major drawbacks. The first drawback is rooting itself brings quite a lot of drawbacks and caveats such as the plain integrity issues, white one L1 certification issues and so on. Apart from that, you will also not be able to transfer the file across all the directory. While you could easily do the transfer inside the data ADB, but you will not be able to do so inside the root directory. For example, let me show you what I mean. This phone is obtained root by a magisk and this is a file manager app. Let's say I want to copy the test.txt file from here to the root directory. Now, if I want to do the transfer across the data adb let me show you that i could do quite easily and data adb if i transfer here then there is no issue whatsoever let me show you the paste is successful but if i try to do so inside the root directory let me again copy any file the test file let's copy it and if i try to paste over here in the root directory as you could see it's not working it's failed it's showing a not enough space because the system is only read only it's not read and write so you either had to to make it RW which will take quite a lot of time and effort or you could take a different approach and get this job done without taking the help of root. So that will have two major benefits. The first one is that you do not require root and hence there will be no issue with regard to plain integrity whatsoever. Apart from that, you will also be able to transfer the file across each of the directory. For example, whether it's the root directory, the data system, the tweak will work across each and every file and folder in the root directory with no limitation whatsoever. So with that in mind, I'll show you two methods for file transfer inside the root directory on your Android phone. First off, let's take the help of the orange fox recovery and let me show you how th this could be done. So let's boot inside the orange fox. For that, simply enable USB debugging and use the adb reboot recovery command. And once you're inside the orange fox recovery, let's transfer the file. So for the sake of reference, let's Try to move the magisk apk file so long press on the file and select copy or move depending on your need let's say copy and now you may choose the root directory from here and hit the check mark and swipe to confirm and as you could see the successful file operation is complete if you want to verify you must do that as well so for that just go up a level and from here let's select the root directory and inside the root directory, you could see we have the magic APK file. So we have not done the transfer. Likewise, in case of WRP recovery, the steps are somewhat different. Let me show you that as well. So in case of our TWRP, once you're inside the recovery, you will have to go to advance, then choose file manager. And now from here, you will have to first of select the SD card, which is the internal storage of your phone. And then select the required file. Let's choose the magic APK. Once you have chosen the file, tap on copy file or move. Let's say copy file. Now choose the location. So let's say the root directory and hit the blue check mark. Swipe to confirm. The file has not been transferred inside the root directory. You may verify the same. Go to install. Up a level, choose the root directory. And as you could see, we now have the magic APK file. So guys, these were the two methods through which you could transfer the file to the root directory without the help of root. So the two major benefit of that is you could easily transfer the file across any file and any folder of your choice. Moreover, since it does not require root, so all the issues with regard to the plain integrity, safety net or white one certification will not be there. But there is just one drawback and that is not every phone has a custom recovery. For example, none of the Pixel phones nowadays have a custom recovery. So for those users, they have no other choice but to go with the file manager, which I made a video on that as well. So guys, on that note, I round up this video. If you have any query with regard to any of the steps, do let me know in the comment section. And thanks a lot for watching.